Hi everyone, my name is Sam. I direct sales and marketing over here at Track Drive. We also have Ron Hart, he's the CEO and founder of Mobile Pushers, which is a huge force and just well established business within the performance marketing space and more specifically the paper call space. Ron has just an amazing come up story. So I felt like there was no one better to kick off this interview series. Would you mind just telling the industry a bit about yourself and how, when you got into the paper call space? Uh, first, I'll say thanks for having me. I really respect Track Drive. You guys are doing well, you know, in the space. Like, oh geez, I'm the founder. Uh, mobile pushers we're a marketing agency we specialize pretty much in data monetization inbound phone calls and e-commerce i've been in the space since i would say about 2011 2012 or so my first campaigns that i've started running email submits from data and legion my first paper call campaign was like in 2017 2018 or so my first Paper call offer was UK debt relief. After that, I ran on uh, EDU. My big break, I'll say, in paper call was EDU. That was like my first six figure campaign. Let's just take a moment <laughs> for your beautiful penthouse. And we see it. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. yeah it's so beautiful. I know that you guys mm -hmm. are going through a big revamp. I want you to give an overview mm -hmm. of what you guys do, how you're unique in the space, and what you're looking for. We're making like a big switch right now. Our new mission now is to improve young consumers' online shopping experience and make their purchase decisions much easier. We have close to maybe 10 million active customers right now through all our platforms, pretty much e -com. We collect basically as many data points as possible. We just put the right products in front of users at the right time. Shifting over right now to customer acquisition and, and improving the online shopping experience for the, the consumers. What are you running mm -hmm. the paper companies? What verticals are you running? More so right now on legal space, torts, some insurance, Medica, they say, you know, like everyone else, you hit us up on LinkedIn or you can find me on Facebook or so so we get some money going. How did you get started in the paper call industry? So in 2010, 2013 to 14 or so, I was homeless. I was standing with my best friend's mom on her couch. Back in the day, it was real popular, whatever, doing surveys online for money. I started doing job shipping back in the day. I buying stuff on eBay or whatever, and I was flipping it on Amazon for a while. I went to the library to to go, uh, you know, go work on my campaigns, my drop shipping stuff. And then I came across, you know, affiliate marketing. I started doing email submits and, and all that kind of stuff. I have one kind of like decent week um, email submits. I probably get paid maybe around two to three grand. Fast forward, my big break or so, I was running ads on Facebook. I ran a home warranty offer. It did like 40, 50 grand, I don't know, within like the first week or so. I got sales and everything. But it's still, you know, just trying to find a way to not pay me. That put me all the way back to square one. To fast forward from that, so I'm doing more research. I come across so the stuff called paper call. I ended up going to Affiliate Summit East. I knew nothing about, you know, the Affiliate Summit East, West, Affiliate World, any of that. So my cousin introduced me to these events on Victor Velo. Y'all walked up to me and was like, hey, what do you do? I run Facebook traffic. They're like, hey, you, you want to try this on UK Dead Relief? It like took off on Facebook. This is all free traffic then too. My first three days, they're like maybe 20 grand, something like that. I took everything he gave me. I put it behind the ads. I just took the post ID from the Facebook fan pages and I put it into the ad. I ran engagement ads. And the ads just went like crazy viral. It's still circling until this day, I think. I was doing maybe 100K almost every day, every other day. That was like my, my big break in paper call. Yeah, it was, it was a wild time. It was way, it was way easier back then too. Share a little bit about your journey to success, the really highs and really lows in the industry. Because it's not all just success. People look at you now and yeah. they're like, wow, he's doing crazy volume and all that, but he didn't always start that way. It's definitely not always success. And in this space, the industry, it changes so often. Good offers don't last long. If something is good, you know, either it get regulated or the end buyer runs out of global cap, might get a short end of the stick. For the highs and lows, no, no, I wasn't. In the beginning, I was making things too complicated. Fancy landing page, uh, I try to make sure my ads were perfect, and it helped me back, so I started making things more simpler. In the beginning, yeah, it was hard. I didn't have the budget to run ads. I have bad days, you know. You know, Sam, I lost six figures, you no, know, in 24 hours, stuff like that. It happens, you know, so. It was not always that good. What are some tips and things that have guided you to success in this industry? Keep it simple as possible. 
don't overthink your creatives. Don't overthink your landing page. Don't overthink the process. Landing pages, ads that, that have made me millions, ugliest landing pages, the most simplest ads. It could be an ad that says, how old are you? Type your age below. The landing page could be like, you know, a hook, a benefit and call to action. Those simple things have made me millions. Whether it's Legion, Ecom, Paper Call or whatever. Don't overthink it. What are some words of advice that you would give to someone just starting out or really interested in learning the industry and looking to excel it? Mm -hmm. I would say network. Network, attend the conferences, you know the paper call meetups, the track drive parties, I feel it's something east, west, all that stuff. Just go there and network. Like I was saying, I met that one guy at Affiliate East that changed my life. Why would you say you need a call tracking platform specifically versus just using a small feature of call tracking in a third party platform? makes the process a lot easier when it comes to measuring your own results. So Google can have call extension tracking and stuff like that. It's another accurate track drive. You guys can pass over the keywords, the campaign IDs, ad IDs, etc. It makes it easier for you to optimize your Google campaigns. It gives you more insight on like what's going on, you know, behind the scenes versus you just tracking the forefront of the campaigns. And back when I first got in some paper call, I would use call fire and on Twilio. It was a mess. What mm. are your overall thoughts and words on our specific call tracking solution on Track Drive? The team over there is amazing. You all kill it. We utilize the lead to call feature. That way we can reach out to our, our leads and calls in real time. The moment they hit our IVR or our landing page, we can instantly send them an SMS or auto dial to recoup that revenue that could have been lost. Really nice for just the up age data or live leads. Yeah. From just set them on a schedule and it automatically goes to nurtures them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to Tribe Drive. You are, you, are, you are killing it. Do you have any outside platforms that you would recommend to people looking to get into paper call or who may already be a paper call, but they're looking to expand or find some new platforms to add to their tech stack? Yeah, check out Track Drive when it comes to call tracking. They work hands on with their customers. Check out volume. It's good to measure your lead results. You also can integrate your call tracker platform with volume via APIs. Work the same as any other platform. Thank you again for your time. I appreciate it.